Just put on the outside of his. Good. Don't stay in front of him, Celine. You got a circle. Punch and move, Celine. Sitting there and I'm looking for my opening, and it's hard. He's good at like keeping that, 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 that range. <laughs> stay long, stay long. Good hand movement, chin down, changing levels. Give me that up kick too, Luis. It's there. Up kick, head kick. All the tools, wrestling, kickboxing, a little bit of everything. Nice. Put into your camera time. Yeah. Before I can, you know, get the fuck out of here. You were like deep in it there. Yeah, I don't. I don't like to be. Just stupid. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yup. 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 Fresh dude, every round, all week, man. It was good. That was actually good. Battle of the light skinned niggas. Two light skinned niggas going bang and bang. Be careful. She's the king of the light skins. Hands up. Head movement. Chin down. Chin down. Chin down. Chin down. Wait. They went from boxing to MMA. The battle of the LS LSCs. The battle of the light skinned niggas. Uh oh. Put your hands 
I like your push. You're pushing really hard. Yeah. And, and, you're, and, you're, and you're not like with that dude. Yeah, you hit him some good jump, but it's like, wow, you know? Like, yeah. You just get a lot of dirt. Your apple is good. Yeah. So you're king of the light skin today? Huh? King of the light skin? King of the light skin always. There's nothing changed. Because my dad is real black, you know? There's a little difference between me and other light skin. He's real dark. So. I got a little bit of that dark skin in me too, you know? Like a lot of it, you know? And it comes out in moments of vulnerability. And I stand strong. I sure gotta be able to push harder than that though. I'm a little too tired. More tired than I should be. Uh, but good thing I got a few more weeks of hard work. I'm also coming off a little sickness, so. But I'm good. I'll be ready when the time comes. My dude tried to hit the Super Saiyan. He screamed at me. I like that stuff though. That's when I know I'm in his head. Then I can just relax. That's when it gets easier. I'm gonna be 100% real with you. What makes this, this room, this gym about champions is the fact that we home breed them. We, we grow them homegrown. You got guys like DC who came off the mat, the wrestling mat. Sean Bunch came off the wrestling mat. You've got Josh Koscheck, John Fitch, myself. We all came out of different areas, but we, were, we didn't train anywhere else. We came here, we trained here specifically, and we grew from here amongst the guys in the gym. That's what separates us from all the other gyms, that they just have implants that came from other gyms that were already good fighters, and they thought they had to come there to become better fighters. And I'm not trying to knock those gyms, I'm just trying to simply say that like, we have a brotherhood here that we built together, we learned how to feed off of each other, we knew how to like push each other, and even from our coaches, our coaches fought in the UFC back in the day, Bob Cook, he fought in the UFC back in the day. So there's, there's a lot of reasons on why we're good, because we know the history of the sport, we helped develop the history of the sport. I was the second, I was probably the third tier of guys that came along. Then you had guys like Swick, Koscheck, and Fitch that helped groom the next generation. Then that, then that next generation came Rock, Cold, Kane, and DC. And now we got a whole nother group of guys coming up from Khabib to all these other guys that are now coming up as well. Islam Makachev, that whole next generation of good guys. The reason why we're so good is because we home grow them. We make them good here. We talk to each other and we figure it out. The coaches learn to develop who the guys are putting in the work. If you're not in here putting in work, if you're not in here every day trying to get better every day, you'll never be a champion. And we understand that. And that's why. It's upon us, DC, myself, Kane, Fitch, all these guys, to let them know, like, hey, you'll never be a champion if you're not in here every single day. I don't care if you want to grapple. If you don't want to grapple, you'll never be champion. Come in here on grappling day. If you don't want to wrestle, you'll never be champion if you don't want to take wrestling day. If you don't want to be here on wrestling day getting your ass kicked, you'll never be a champion. That's why we're homegrown world champions. That's why there's nothing but world champions in this gym. You can take a look at that whole wall right there behind you. It's all world champions, okay? Because we, we, homebred, we homebred them here. That's why. That's why we're the home of world champions, AK. <laughs> Tough week, man. Tough week. Nice. Yeah, Kona's, Kona's having a rough one today. All wrestling. That's what he needs, though. Yeah, he's kind of having a rough one, though. Uh, He's just going against, he's, he went, we did three rounds with him, and then now he's going with Ed, and he's, he's predominantly a striker, and, and he knows some jiu-jitsu, does well on the ground, but I, he's, not, he's not used to that wrestling pressure yet, um, and that's what he needs, you know. Real, I think, real I, quick though, what is Ed's pedigree? Let's, let's start there before we, you know, say anything else. What Ed is, is a three-time national champ, um, four-time All-American. Uh, I think I know he plays the U.S. Open. I know he wrestled in the U.S. Trials. Uh, man, he was a uh, three-time national champ. Division one is is uh, pretty impressive. So high, high-level wrestler could compete with anybody in the world. And just one last thing, real quick. 
So today someone tagged me and so I mean I tagged you back, but I, I saw you didn't respond to that. Yeah. Your boy. Jordan Burroughs. Jordan yeah. Burroughs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, no, Jordan Burroughs. Yeah, he got he got beat by a Russian man. Those guys can wrestle. Um, you know, Burroughs has been in the game for a really long time. You know, he's, you know, it's hard to go undefeated, you know, everybody everybody gets there sometime. Um, but at the end of the day, the Olympic year is next year. Uh, and that's the big one. So, like I said, man, I'm not going to respond to that shit yet. We'll see who's on top next year. Uh, I, I think USA might be even doing better than Russia right now at the World Tournament. So, whatever. So, uh, Khabib's 3K, how are we paying? DC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Bob, good. you're good. Rosindo, I'm good. Tomas, Bunch. He's going down next Saturday. Let's go, baby. I'm going to take over in LA on Saturday, so make sure you guys tune in. Or you can come down to LA and check me out. All right? There you go. Funny dance time. Yeah, it's the Clint. Oh, I love it. No, you good? Ron. Good. Good. All right. Um, you know, um, a lot of the times, Jesus Christ. you guys, when you come in here, you're not being directed or you're not being paid attention to, uh, and you want that attention, we're here for you guys. So just make sure, you know, if you're feeling left out, just, hey. Come up to me, come up to Bob, come up to any one of us and say, hey, can you help me here or can you give me some advice here? It will be given. That's what we're all here for as a team. We're all, all the coaches are here to help you. So when you guys are in that situation, do that. A, a whole bunch of you guys are always coming up to me and asking me questions. Coach, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? I've never said nothing to you guys in the sense, well, I don't want to talk to you about it. I'm here for you guys. I will always be here for you guys to give you advice. My personal one-on-one -on -one attention, that might be a different story. I'm, I'm really kind of packed there, but, but as far as talking to me and getting advice from me, that's always going to be available to you guys while I'm here. Even, even if I'm not during team training and I'm in my office, whatever, you guys are always welcome to talk to me. That includes you amateurs too. It's not just pros only. The amateurs don't talk to me. You guys can talk to me too. You know, I would definitely give you guys what I think is good advice, and whether you guys take it or not will be based on what you guys feel. But you're not going to hurt my feelings if you don't take my advice. But if my advice is valid and you don't follow it and things fall apart, oh well, <laughs> guess we know whose fault's that, right? But uh, anyways, just thought I'd bring that out for you guys. So, you know, if you ever feel that need, you're lost or something, you know, hey, we're here for you guys. Not just me. All of us are here for you guys. Maybe Tomas might not be here for you, but <laughs> he'll try. And he's brand new, you know, so... No, but everybody else will be here, all right? Um, we, everybody kind of understand what I'm saying here? You know, and, I, and I do give everybody attention, and maybe some more than others, but you know, I do check on you guys every once in a while, where you guys been, and you haven't been in the gym. So uh, you know, every so often expect that from me. When you're not expecting it, you'll get a text, where you been? I haven't seen you in the gym. And it's not for any other reason other than I care. Okay, I care about your future, I care about your career. Whether you're meant to be a world champion or whether, whether, whether you're mean to be successful. Uh, business, fighting, it's all one and the same. You guys apply yourself to business, success. You apply yourself to fighting, success. You may become a world champion or you may not become a world champion. But one thing you will become, successful. You will become successful. No matter how many times you get knocked down in sparring, you get back up, you get back to the grind again, you learn from your mistakes. If you learn from your mistakes and don't make those mistakes again, guess what you get? advancement opportunities all right it's very important it's, it's it's in life and everything you do and that's why i always talk to you guys like we're talking now so it helps the mind the mind is the creator of everything okay 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 that's good for me uh anybody else have anything and that's it everybody got it we're good okay let's ball. Ball, 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 ball. Hey.